pop it in here. Two hour live stream for today, yes, mini challenge. No, we're not gonna do two hour, not because I don't love you guys. Uh, Flowey, I don't ignore you for reasons. I care for you. Fearless Kane, nice to see you, Courier6. So, we're gonna do a demonstration on grapple, on the kite, and on augments. That is the focus of today's live stream. Those three things. Now, the grapple and the kite, they completely change the way that one plays whilst running around in a Shadow of War universe. You will recognize some of the feelings of them from other very popular Warner Brothers games. But the thing is, is that there's a big difference. Um, we kill people in this one. Hey, Face Hyatt. I also love potatoes and potatoes. The shirt. Oh, this is a. Oh, I forgot to turn on the light. Ugh. Live stream things. There we go. Oh, you see the fuck? See, there is. It was on this side. Yeah, whatever. It's on one of the sides. There was just enough darkness that it was annoying me. Still there. Wrong side. Whatever. Um, so can you basically fly? Well, let's give it a little demonstration, shall we? Batman doesn't kill. No, he doesn't. Potatoes, who likes me? We all like you. So I'm going to show off the kite first. Now, let me make sure that I do. <laughs> Pro streamer Jared. Hop in here. Now I'm going to line this up just right. Shall we? Uh... One of the uses of the kite is the ability to quickly cover distances over a very short amount of time. Hey, Andy! Hey, Andy! It's nice to see you, man. So you're able to cover great distance very quickly, and it's a tool that one will be using in con... Uh, let's see, in conjunction? I think that's the right way to say that. With the gravel hook. Let's demonstrate that now. So we have a nice high point. And we have a little dude up there, shall we? Whoop. And we have arrived at the incredibly covered. I've done this uh, live stream a couple times, and so I always go up and kill this specific dude. And you can see I've collected quite a c amount of beautiful arrows and bolts to shoot. But let's just do a little bit of moving around, okay? Hop it back and forth. Using the hook, using the parachute, or excuse me, the kite. So one of you guys called it a parachute, and so no, I just cannot not call it that. Now, that's a nice little introduction. Give me, let me give you one more little. Whee! But you can also use it mid-flight. So it's something where if you are flying around and you're just like, oh, isn't this great? And it's like, oh crap, a grog! Quick, turn. You have that as an option. All right, what do we have as options? Awesome, okay. Now, one thing that I also find very helpful is uh, it keeps you from getting hurt. You can jump off and do things in a quick little drop. But also, you can see how left bumper is popping up even when I'm down here. Let's get into a little bit of a scrap. Oh no, I'm scared now. There's all these dudes and they're gonna hurt me if I'm not careful. Hold on, let me meet this guy real quick. Oh, uh, goodness. <laughs> you can chase them down. But the point here is that I am able to get out of the scrap very quickly. Which is good, because I die if I die, right? I know that sounds like a silly statement. But I will die, for real, because this is like a roguelike experience. You can, in fact, go from the kite into a stealth attack. We will demonstrate that again on this little lovely cat. And get back up. Now you'll recognize that I'm flinging myself in the air. I uh, added a little bit of an extra augmentation to give me that extra ability to do that. Pro die for us. Oh, it'll happen. Just not today. Uh, have it on easy mode to avoid that. That was a sick attack. Wow, I'm glad you liked it. People do die when they're killed. Yeah. Oh, it's about using those good English words, right? So this is how we have replicated more than, more than replicated, generated a new way to move throughout the world when you don't have a wraith as your superpower, right? So you get this capability of floating through the air, using the hook, the grapple specifically, and then on top of this, we haven't even shown you guys augments yet. But this really changes some of the basic strategies for like, all right, I want to get this guy. 
Now I can easily move into a stealth attack without having to sneak across the entire ground, which otherwise I would have had to go sneaky, 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 stab. But this time I can actually get there using the verticality of the world to safely surprise my opponents. Let me just land on that guy's head real quick. Give us a wingsuit. <laughs> uh, I believe we've got something that works and is more Numenorean than a wingsuit. Another important bit of that. Baranor, hold my grog. Totally. Let's see. Are there any that you can only get with the grapple? Oh, like a wraith could not get there. Um, you know, actually... Well, it's different, right? So... Glad you like an Arkham Knight hero. Of course you would rec you'd love it this way. Um, so the thing is, is let's take a, a thing that a Wraith could do. Uh, oh, look, there's a dude right there. I could Shadow Strike to him. I can't, I can't Shadow Strike his Baronar. There's no Wraith Shadow Striking. But I can, you know, calmly float down over him, surprise him, and stab him in the face. But there is an advantage that is significantly greater like, as a Wraith, you couldn't just quickly go up. You had to, you could go down with using the Talon Strike ability and then cause explosions, but you couldn't quickly move upwards to something. Also, for those of you who just, 3D Gaming 32, no, man. That's, uh, that's not a bad one. I like that. Let's, uh, use our little new crossbow real quick. <laughs> I just made that disappear. Uh, so this is not the final build. This is a dev build. So when moments like that happen, that's not how it's gonna be in the final one This is a couple weeks old. So there are a couple changes that exist in the live stuff that aren't here <laughs> Actually, everybody's moving from the bees or excuse me the flies. So it definitely dropped and did it. We just didn't see from that far Different bolt types, maybe Hmm. Nah. Let's see. Um, let's fight a captain. So Talion strike reverse Talon, not Talion. Um, Talon strike. Let's go and fight this captain. And I'm gonna move over to him in my favorite way. I always have a little bit of a. I, just, I love this movement style. So this is an outpost mission um, to do this particular one as we are gash. And we're not gonna do that one. That's a later stream that we'll do this. Let's kill this guy real quick, because he might have an augment for us. He does, he has a Dwarven Whetstone. Let's go talk about augments. So we will go through the augments again, because we're probably going to catch a few more augments while we're doing this. Captains drop augments, uh, treasure orcs drop augments, corpses. What on earth was that suppo noise supposed to be? Did I make a noise? Dreyfus Everfall, noticed. Uh, and corpses can have, like, uh, treasure corpses can have augments, too. So, let's apply this one. You can see that the Dwarven Whetstone is plus 10 melee damage. It's a common augment. That common augment just is something that stacks. So I could find another Dwarven Whetstone and have plus 10 more damage. And then find another and plus 10 more. And so on and so forth. Uh, the augments are stackable. So, for example, we have an epic augment here, the coated chain, cyclone, that's the thing where we whip the chain over our heads, causes a fire explosion. I could get another epic or legendary augment that applies to the sword, and it can do something else. Let's actually walk through the poses real quick, though. We have sword, dagger, which we have uh, an augment to apply here, another epic one that I got. Apply augment. 50% damage for stealth attacks performed while gliding. So that's a little flip off. Boom. I saw someone say, so I can only apply a certain amount of damage. Not necessarily the case. Um, if we find another uh, barbed blade or something, I believe it'll actually just go plus another, it'll say plus 100, instead of plus 50, plus 50, plus 50, plus 50. Kind of thing, if I, if I recall that right. We'll have to check though. Here's another example of a stackable. It actually says stackable, you can see, as well on top of that. Now, the reason I'm showing you a bunch of these augments is because there are a ton of them. There are actually 25 legendary augments. Yeah, I think that's what I just heard yesterday. So, ton of them. So I don't really have any problem with showing you a couple of them because there's common ones, there's epic ones, and there's the legendary, which we'll show a legendary in a second. Now, I don't have any of the shield ones. 
What I do here? Dwaven joint. Dwaven. <laughs> it's a dwaven toyven. Uh, dwarven joint work. This is going to increase your focus. Time and a half is actually the Marauder style set bonus for the legendary set, but when you pick up coin instead of when you pick up Mirian. Uh, Uruk's all, yeah, there are there are Orlogs here. Uh, totally. Should let him shoot fireballs? Well, I, uh, I think there was a little bit of a, a hint of Rooney right here. Can you combine multiple Augments into one? They can stack, so uh, you will get like tighter gearing and another plus 15 tighter gearing and keep going. So they're capped how much it stacks. Um, there is a cap, sorta. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to end up. Uh, it used to be that you could just keep going and gathering a ton, and it just filled up the screen and looked ridiculous. And it's also a lot longer than players tend to go. Uh, because remember, they're, they're, you can continue to play the game and level up as much as you'd like, and then finish a run how you'd like to do it. But we'll talk more about that later on. Can your, our mercenaries become spies? Unfortunately, uh, no, it's really funny because I can imagine them talking in a grunt, grunt orc. Um, but can we stack past 100 with like tighter gear? Yes, yeah, you can do stuff like that. Um, let's go ahead and show off some of these abilities. Specifically, the cyclone causes a fire explosion, as well as showing off um, the extra damage that comes from using this. Wow. And we got a skill point, which we're not using today. <laughs> Just before you all ask. All right, so we got reinforced plating. Ah, oh, that one goes on the shield. Take 5% less damage. That's all round as well. So that's uh, something where I'm going to not just block better. Because blocking, as you guys saw, took out um, like full damage with that. But actually, it's just overall armor on Baronor. So I'm going to have to leave that up on the top. But let's uh, let's show off a little bit more of the potential augments. Also, using more of the fun stuff. So here's a corpse. Now, this is similar to when we found the treasure orc, but we're now finding it just a corpse. Now, these guys can have augments on them. They can have um, concussion bombs, which we haven't shown you guys yet, so we'll show them today. Hey, Hunter Affleck. Nice to see you. We're going to show off um, the concussion bombs. Now, a concussion bomb is like a mighty shot in your pocket. That sounds really silly. Um, let's just demonstrate. Oh, look. There is an orc. Hello, orc. Causes an explosion. You can pick these up from various people that you're killing. When's the DLC coming out, Mad Max 71? Coming out May 8th. Now let's cause a little bit of havoc real quick. Some explosions. Let's get a Graug in here. Drop some spiders. Nope, oh, missed. Oh, let's also show off the fire real quick. So here's the fire explosion. And also there's an Olog, as requested. <laughs> We picked up another um, concussion bomb, so we'll use that. Oh, that wasn't it. Oh, wait, but before we do that, welcome to the Wereworm. There you go. Excuse me for a moment, got to escape. And here's an example of the wonders of this hook. So... Oh, no, got it. Oh, well. well, we're going to have a lot of dudes swarming now. Um, one of the things that, uh, is important to remember, and this is something that's just a, a really almost like subtle change that massively experience, or just massively changes the overall, you know, Baronor experience. Since you are going to have one life, and if you die, it starts over, augments are in fact part of the in-run progression. So if I was to die in this right now, I would lose the augmentations that I have on Baronor right now. Every time you play the game, they're going to have a random group of augments that you're going to be collecting from. And they're going to come from finding corpses, killing captains, uh, finding treasure orcs. So you're actually going to have... So this one gave me supplies. Okay. So they won't always give you augments, but you'll find a couple of them. Worms cannot overkill captains that are too overpowered. Worms can kill captains. Just, just for so you guys are aware. Let's see, did we get an augment for that one? No, that was uh, filled up items. So sometimes if you have items all the way filled, it won't fill up anymore. On top of that, you can't overfill. Alright. So, there is a captain in this direction. So we're going to go in this direction to see if we can make him angry. Will you do a live stream? Whoop. 
Controller disconnected. <laughs> will I do a live stream on free stuff? Uh, yes, I will mention the free stuff. Um, there's a couple really cool ones that um, I'm excited about personally. Um, can concussion bombs daze captains? Concussion co bombs, they won't activate the dazed state, but if we find, uh, there we go, if we find a captain to, for me to demonstrate on real quick, it will, look, there's a worm out there. <laughs> oh, gotta look out for those guys. It won't activate, like, a captain from a dazed state. What a strange place this desert. But it will, uh, cause a captain to, like, get knocked over. Also, you can see treasure orcs on the map right now. They're the white arrows that are popping up on the mini-map. Are the worms the same ones as the ones in the five armies? I don't know, actually. The wereworms here are, at least in our lore, Lithlab specific. Or Lithlad specific. Let's see if we can find our... Switch the outpost for him. There he is. Stabs. And uh, just as a reminder, you can quick shot with the crossbow. It's very fun, very useful. Picked up more supplies, more coin. Coin is used for recruiting uh, our mercenary followers. And so you can actually sell the coin, or excuse me, you can sell your augments for coin. So when you collect augments, it will actually give you an option to do so. Can you dominate captains in this DLC? No. Baranor has no ability to dominate. He has ability to kill people and ability to recruit human mercenaries. Ah. Bestial Frenzy. Trickster. Poison Weapon. Well, this is a good start. And followed up with a nice 50% extra damage. <laughs> That's so powerful. Okay, we need to find one that we actually fight. <laughs> I won't do that. So this is another actual... Here, okay, so here's a... We'll, we'll, we'll cover that in a second. We'll cover that in a second. So I'm on easy mode. That's one. Two, um... This is one of the things that's really interesting about the random drops. When you are playing through random drops, we can increase the power of some of these abilities because it's something that, for one, if you die, you're done forever. So we can, inc there's more risk, so there's more reason to have more powerful stuff. Second, um, since y if you die, you start over and get everything new, we're not too worried about their... Um, can the aesthetic of Baranor change with the augments? No, the aesthetic of Baranor stays as this. Um, so let's talk about the stacking. So this was plus 25. Now it stacks on top of it. Also, before I do, you can see it sells for 50 coin, just above, uh, right next to apply augment. Stack it. All right, so now maximum is it's at plus 50. So you get a lot of, you can fill the augments and legendaries and then stack with the commons. What happens when you die besides with starting? Um, you will lose these augments that exist here. Your um, mercenaries you recruit, they reset as well. Uh, some s progression will change. TSRCs are gotta write in caps. Um, some progression will change, some will stay. Your upgrades, that get you things like the chain that whips over your head. Those will stay in between runs, and those are the ones you collect by treasure maps. While you uh, are losing these pieces though, these augments, so, but you get these really quick, right? Um, we've actually just picked up a couple, and that augment is so powerful. So I'm gonna go and draw, I happen to know that there's a captain uh, over here, because <laughs> I messed with him a couple times. This has been great fun using that. Okay, actually, let's talk about this real quick. This kite to uh, stab move. This is adding 50% damage. So what that means is 550 damage. You add another 200 and what, 73-ish, right? Um, so that's a 700 and... No, that's an eight, like an 800 and what, 20 damage? 820 damage when you do the kite version of it? Like that, that's gonna kill some people real quick. <laughs> so, that's what's been happening. Um, and that basically changes the way that you play for this run, right? Because now you're like, oh my gosh, I'm all about kiting and jumping. And there's a particular ability from um, uh, followers. 
that it would really work well with that. Also, hold on, let's summon a friend again. And I mean, I've been friend, um... Love it. I mean, friend, uh, sort of, you know, just kind of in the statement. Um, I'm actually gonna, hold on. I'm gonna pause real quick. I'm gonna find us a captain. Because I have to show you guys more fighting up close. Arten as fuck. Nice to see you, AF. Um, I haven't even shown you guys the ability to cause the fire explosion. Hold on, let me, let me hide it for a second. Is this it? This is it. Okay. Just for a second. Just for a second. I'm gonna advance time real quick. That's it. You're not missing anything right now. No worries. Just advancing time. So some new dudes show up. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. Quick map check again. Cool, we got a captain nearby. Put him on the map. I'm gonna draw him out of this area though because we're not showing you this other area yet. And welcome back. Cool. So this is nighttime now. Uh, I just, I advanced time. So I'm gonna grab a guy and move him over here. So you can in fact hop on down, pop. All right. Come on, Captain. Notice me. Notice me and follow me real quick, okay? Real quick, huh? El Capitan? El Capitan? Nope, okay. Not showing you that area yet. So we're gonna first show off the fire explosion. This is one of the epic unlocks that we just grabbed. Now we just got the money, which increases our damage. Remember, it increases our damage 1% um, for 20 seconds per uh, gold, or coin that we pick up. Headshot, get us a nice barbed blade. So that's gonna increase our, um, or notice me, Orc Chan. Sharky Bites, nice to see you. So that's another one we can stack on top. Now we're up to another 50 extra. So now our heavy blade is also doing 300, so that's a total of 900 stealth damage. Okay. Also, we just got 250 coin. So all our attacks are gonna kill people like none other in single shots. Oh man, because we have the legendary ability that just spikes our damage. That's really cool. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna run around here a little bit and spawn another captain. Uh, Men of Steel asks, how long is the DLC? Now that's kind of a hard answer for it. Um, and the reason why that's a bit of a hard answer is because for one, that was awesome. Because for one, um, it's a roguelike. So if you die, that changes the length of the game, right? Second, there's meta and in-game progression. So depending on what you do, you will play differently. Um, so those are different things. And then they're adding like difficulty, and then also the fact that you're meant to replay it. So it's hard, it's kind of like if you're referring to, hold on, we gotta do another worm because they're just so fun. <laughs> just love it. So it's kind of hard to specifically, like, give you a number. Uh, with Shadow of Mordor to Shadow of War, we were able to be like, oh yeah, most players will probably experience about this change. This is a different game. It's, um, you know, that revenge experience of when you get killed by a guy and you go after them. That guy just ends your run. So that's a bit harder to net down a time for you. I'm gonna pick up some more coin, because it's gonna immediately give me more damage. And I'm just gonna sweep pink people like this. Thank you! I see you're giving out pay. I want some. Make it hurt like you hurt all the others. No. Make it even worse. I can take it. I want it. I need it. So the Pain Seeker has come to say hello. Um, you guys were asking about Ologs. Thank you, Pain Seeker, for showing yourself. Um, Panda Games was asking, can you only kill captains in this? No, there are story missions. There are outpost missions. In fact, uh, we'll get more into it, um, but within the world, basically, to complete a run, you will complete story missions, and you will complete uh, outpost missions. And we'll talk, and uh, whatever. So story, I'll tell it real quick, and then we'll demonstrate it more. Um, story, doesn't matter if you die. That story will stay the same. 
the outpost missions though, um, and we'll show how those work in a couple weeks. Uh, those ones will be the part of the reset experience. So it'll be like retaking the point. I uh, see any orcs with new traits. I, uh, I actually think there will be some new traits that will come. I can't recall exactly off the top of my head. Um, there's a couple other different new things too with it, related to it. Uh, but the major one, the major changes is the fact that the mercenaries have new traits. New human related traits, new cooperative traits. Let's, um, let's see. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do actually is keep this and I'm gonna shoot here. That was a nice fire explosion. I'm gonna shoot here to drop our lovely goop. That's fine, we can enrage him. Now let's show off how the compression bomb works. Oh, he has his own bomb right now. Will I not be able to knock him over? There we go. So it doesn't knock him over as much because he's massive, but smaller orc captains you'll find getting knocked over. Can't have hate or fear of wereworms. Gosh, I actually don't know if that that part is here right now. I, I'm not sure. I can't answer that question for you quite yet. Whoop. Oh, that's right. I forgot to show you guys that little bit about the hook. Uh, so in this, Uruks don't re Oh, Uruks do still remember you. You will still have situations where you will kill an Uruk and they will cheat death and come back to find you. You will still have situations where Uruks will run from you and you will still run from Uruks yourself and cause situations... Okay, I'm gonna do the fire explosion again. Ready? Fire explosion! <laughs> you will have... Um, oh, he got a hit on when I was escaping. You will still have situations where you will run from Urix. You will have problems that are happening while you're, you know... Or you'll kill one and they'll send more people at you. Or you'll cause an alarm like I am and they'll come find you. You'll have ambushes from um, Urix as well. They'll come out of the woodwork and they'll terrify you because you're human. What do you do for health? I just did it. See on the far right? It's a healing like med kit. It's those red icons that are on the ground. I'm gonna go pick another one up real quick. Demonstrate. Now let's uh, get a bunch of healing or, and also a bunch of damage boosts because we are now getting a 30 coin. Oh, and let's pick up the shield augment real quick which will give us even more coin. All right, now we have a ton of damage. Let's um, show it off by using it on this guy. And he's using his sappers again. So I am not going to use the uh, stealth attack. That'll be way too powerful to kill him immediately. But I will just slice him once, so you guys can see the power of the sword right now, except for 20 second power. Heal up real quick. The 20 seconds of power from the coin. You're gonna actually see how much damage that does to him when I'm hitting him. But now we'll back off, because I still have to show you guys a little bit about the, um, how do we use coins? Next week, I'll talk about that. Um, but I want to show you guys a cool extra thing about the grapple hook. If you go, you can go for things that are like more horizontal to you. So when you do that, um, you will actually catapult yourself. So this is pretty horizontal, right? So it catapults you forward instead of up. This is also an augment that I unlocked by finding some Torvin gear. Won't work here because I just ran into a thing. But there you go. What does pressing E during an all out attack do instead of freezing him? Freezes him? Oh, look at that guy, he's on, uh, he's standing up on the thing. Oh man, so we have a ton of damage right now because of the sweet augments we picked up. But also, if you play on harder difficulties, you won't be doing as much damage as we are right now. Idril is not dead, Blood Wolf. I Idril is not dead. Will Uruks remember killing us? Floby, no, because you'll die. <laughs> there will be you, and it'll start over. Um, he gets damage boost from Augment for each coin. Correct. For each coin I pick up, right now I'm getting a damage boost. And so when you pick up an Augment, they also come with extra coin on top of it. So, and I can sell it as well. But here, let's stack this. This would, now I take 5% less damage. So now I'm taking a total of 30% damage off of all attacks. Can we see mercenaries today? Mercenaries are next week. Let's see. Uh, are there elephants? Oh, the oliphants? I don't know, actually. I don't, I don't think so. Is Talion dead? Jack Slayer, Talion has always been dead. 
Um, Talion, uh, people are asking about where is Talion during this. And uh, I'll let you guys find that out through the story yourselves. But the thing is, is the story focuses on Baranor. This is Baranor's story and his involvement in fighting in Lithlad. This far off outpost that is very far away from the core battle of Mordor. When do we see story related content? I don't plan on showing you guys story related stuff um, from this. In fact, I don't want to spoil this. Actually, that's not true. You might see it in a week. <laughs> you might see it in a week. Uh, map and base game? Can Beastmaster summon worms? Oh, Blast Gamer. I, I haven't seen that ability. But that'd be really interesting. I actually don't know. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Let's get the Graug. Um, but let's see if we can get a worm to kill this guy. I think that would be really fun. Any change to the base game? There are going to be some changes, yes. Some free stuff. Some free changes that will go into it, in fact. So here's a Graug. And um, Graugs are terrifying in Desolation of Mordor. Because they throw rocks that like immediately kill you. Just want to see more combat? Oh, I'll show off a, couple, a bit more. I just want this Graug to be here. Now, remember, you can't ride Graugs anymore because you don't have the ability to do so. So Graugs are now just terror. Just a monster that you cannot trust. Refreshy. Next. Oh, we got the worm. Hold on. Come on over here, Pain Seeker. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Worm time. Oh, hold on. I got to see who it's eating. Oh, it's not going the Pain Seeker. But... Well, this is just a very desolation of Mordor scene, isn't it? Jared, do you think a person can complete this without dying? Absolutely. Um, I've completed it without dying a couple times. I've also died many times. Um, let me tell you, Gravewalker is terrifying on this difficulty. It's absolutely insane. Um, wow, it looks like we're actually going to be able to have, handle this with the, just the help of the Graug. Well, thank you, Graug. He did us a solid. Rust superset never a taco. <laughs> Alright, so we actually have two more augments to pick up. Oh no! Woof! So when I was playing on Nemesis, that took me from uh, full health to uh, like an eighth of my health. Alright. Oh man, look at how much damage that's doing. We gotta back out. Back out a little bit. Or fight the Graug. Hold on, we gotta do some Graug fighting. Hold on, let me see if I can get a worm to show up. So, worms are attracted to Graug, uh, like, what it, or not Graug, Grog. Grog, when you break it, worms are attracted to it. Woo! So, if we break enough Grog, uh, we actually potentially get ourselves a worm out here. Can humans betray you? Um, I... I'm not gonna say anything too much related to that. Uh, but if you mean like, will there be human rebellion kind of stuff? I haven't seen that. No. No, no, no. There's no fighting like a human. Dwarven Whetstone. Alright, our damage is gonna be crazy high right now because we just got a ton, a ton of money um, in that regard. Do you ever do play? Oh, can't answer that right now, Panda. Do humans have enraged by orcs? I think that happens. Can we mount a wereworm? Oh man. Any two types of weapons for orcs? Um, I don't know. Hold on. Let me see if this arrow kills this guy like a single shot, though. It doesn't, but it does a lot more damage. I don't know what you're talking about, Uryx. I don't know what you're talking about. We'll uh, we'll break into that more later. <laughs> I'll just a later stream. Uh, it happens from the select button. It's my, that's what I'm blaming it on. <laughs> so. High damage shot. <laughs> a little cub. Face, I know, the face drop with that. So, um, in that regard, with the skills that I was not supposed to show, um, that I hit, it's not that I wasn't supposed to show yet because of like too much of a secret or anything. 
uh, the reason why I didn't want to do it yet is because I want you guys to discover augments on your own. Because augments go are in that skill tree. And then also because some of the upgrades are related to story, which I didn't want to talk about yet. Some of the upgrades are related to in-game, and you'll lose some of them. Some of the level ups as you play. So basically your Baron is going to be different every time. I know, seriously. Where people are going to go through and be like, what is this? Well, I'm glad that it was so quick and tiny. <laughs> Will Lithlad be in the main game? Smell something. It's the talk. Get in. Right, that we don't have any plans on talking about that yet. Whew. I got got that guy completely. Show everything. Well, there's the uh actually this is a thing that I think would be interesting for you guys to do. See, there's the uh, fortress over there. And um, with that fortress over there, you guys have seen that fortress from multiple angles. You've seen it from Torvin's point of view. You've seen it from the point of view of the Oasis as well. And so you guys can start like piecing where we are in these maps. So what, when the guy is in the worm's mouth, I was trying, Spiffy. I was trying. We'll try that again when we see another uh, worm thing pop up. Try to catch one where it gets the dude in the mouth. Is the Overlord a Marauder? Yes. That is true. The Overlord is a Marauder. He's actually story focused. So, right now, it, yeah, it's a Marauder there. What happen, happens when he jumps from a high building? He pulls the chute. Saves himself the landing. Arton, ask me, ask you what? Oh, it's a joke. What is a crossbow slow time? So that's uh, that's just game. That's just a game experience. A lot of people are being like, but you don't have superpowers. You're right. That's just a it's just a game experience. Also, there was a bit of a confusion from a question last time. People asked me um, uh, about stamina bar. So yes, you can still get a stamina uh, a boost of speed when you press the left stick in. Oh, wait, there we go. Worm, eat one. Uh, I didn't, I needed to get closer. Um, there needed to be a boost of, s there is a boost of speed, but it's, I got confused when you said stamina bar, because that's your focus bar. But this is the combat style that exists whilst playing Desolation of Mordor. You have a lot of vertical, a lot of down, because the thing is, is you're going to get close to dying a lot. Our savior moment's different. I mean, humans do them. It's the major different. Uh, sexy ninja god king. Story related stuff. Not talking about it quite yet. What happens when you press LB without any ledges nearby? Nothing. It's a. Uh, remember, left bumper was Wraith World uh, in Shadow of War. So, there's. Yeah, nothing happens. Just click, 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 click. Is Intel as hard to find as in Blade of Gladiator? Intel works very differently here. Uh, I'm fine with talking about that, actually. Uh, there is Intel, is, if you recall from Shadow War, where you can pick up Intel from maps and from dead dudes. Intel's done that way. And then there's another way um, w that Intel is done, which involves some level up stuff, uh, but we'll get there. Also, with the augments that I was talking about, some of these augments, I mean, can get pretty incredible in power and like effects. Besides explosions, I mean, you guys saw what's happening with those stealth attacks. At one point, Baranor could com like could compete with the damage and output of like Celebrimbor or Talion or Eltariel, and it's actually one of the most interesting experiences because you get to have that experience multiple times while you're playing on harder difficulties and trying to get better and better as you do. And there's actually there there are reasons to replay besides the fact that it's just a different experience each time. There are reasons to do so uh, that are in-game related as well. Now, let me show you the intel real quick. Also, you guys were asking about this last stream. This, oh, um, that one's out, but yes, you can shoot those. I'm gonna join the Karagor Liberation Front real quick and cause a fire explosion with Wizzy Wizzy Blade. It's a parachute. <laughs> it's a, I keep calling it a parachute. It is called the kite. 
But you guys can see, we can still collect intel. Oh, that was something that flickered up that we'll talk about once we get into, uh... <laughs> once we get into talking more about the mercenaries. There's a lot of little things popping up today. Do intel orcs still run away from the player? They do not ever run from the player because there are no more intel orcs. They don't work like that. They, uh, they work the way that I just showed you, or there's a new way that intel works that... Can you get a bodyguard for him? I can, but I won't do it today. That's actually next week. We're gonna be running around this same place, and we're gonna do it with a bunch of bodyguards. And we're also gonna show off how you guys get bodyguards. We'll also show off, like, the use of coin. We'll also talk about, like, how cool and, like, set up stuff to do with bodyguards. It'll be, it'll be good fun. Can we get followers in the Steel Sea? Yes, you'll be having mercenaries. More leaky. <laughs> you rude. Well, I'm re So there was a couple things that I sh that popped up that I wasn't supposed to show yet. Um, but honestly, the tease, I think, isn't bad. For one, you guys only get to see the complexity. You don't know what they do yet. You don't know the experience completely yet. The augments are... And the upgrades are super meaty and tasty in this regard. So that's going to be good fun. Save your system. When will we see a trailer? Might see one soon. Uh, I'm not going to guarantee that one quite yet, but you might see one soon. Oh, spider friends. Oh, look. That looks uncomfortable. Squish. <laughs> oh, that's good fun. Let's see if we can get an orc into a worm, and I think that should finish up the stream. You guys have seen a lot, accidentally and on purpose. More combat. What's save your system? Uh, like when you're saving? Uh, the same way that it worked in Shadow of War proper. Same process. It'll, it auto-saves as you play. Oh, we got more concussion bombs. Alright, let's bring some of these guys with us. Come along, friends. We're going to feed you to the animals. Let's show off another com uh, concussion bomb. Well, let's do one into this dude's face. Because it's fun. Any more worms? I don't see any right now. No mistake in that sword. I'm gonna do this. Remember that happens because of the augment that we have here. Specifically the coded chain. But also you guys have seen me pick up like what? Five augments in this match? In fact, there's another augment that I picked up there. We've gotten up another extra stealth damage. We got a, two bits of tighter gearing, two bits of uh, and another more focus. So you grow really powerfully when you're playing through this. It's, uh, and very quickly. But so do your opponents, and also on the harder difficulties especially, which so far I've played on Nemesis, and uh, I died on Nemesis my first try through it, and then I was extra careful in the next one. Um, the, oh, we have our worm. We have our worm. And we're gonna catch the dude in the mouth. Ah! Perfect. Uh, that's, that's a good, that's a good scene to finish off on. I like it. 